It is Monday evening. It is the start of Hanukkah, and happy Hanukkah to everybody celebrating. Wore the Hanukkah tie. I'm not Jewish. I am Lutheran, but Hag uh, Sabiach, if I'm saying that correctly, learned that from a Lutheran pastor a long time ago. So a very happy Hanukkah to everybody who's celebrating that for this evening. It is time for Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining us for our extended video weather blogs where we try to explain a little bit more as to what goes on with the weather and continuing to watch, again, a lot of things heading our direction. We do have the potential of some freezing drizzle tomorrow morning around Tuesday morning right before dawn. We've got that powerful punch of cold air coming our way and yes there is the potential of winter weather with some precipitation. How much? Way too early to talk about that but we will be talking a little bit more about how the weather is going to be shaping up into Christmas with a look back at some of the top 10 coldest and snowiest Christmases. We'll do that here in just a little bit. In the meantime, temperature today just below normal in the mid 40s. Nothing in the way of precipitation, but we are doing very well for both the month and the year. We're going to finish up both the month and the year with a very decent surplus. Even if we don't pick up any more precipitation at all throughout December 31st, we have got quite enough to go around and looking again at pretty dry conditions toward the end of the week and the end of the year but we'll do more about that coming up in just a little bit nice combination of either sunrise or sunset from south pittsburgh mountain overlooking russell cave alabama thanks very much to samantha dutton for a very nice combination of both fog and sunrise and or sunset out there that's our monday's west shore home weather window picture of the day if you'd like to get your pictures up on the wall and for everybody to see, please send them to us at pictures at WDEF.com or find us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram out there as well. Radar not showing much of anything outside of a few speckles of very light rainfall well on down to around just north and northeast of Atlanta, Georgia. And most of that is several thousand feet up and evaporating on its way down. So not really seeing too much of anything out there. Now this storm system is going to give us the potential of some of that rainfall as it makes its way back to the east. The storm system to the north of us that's bottling up this very cold air is kind of putting a stop sign on the situation for right now. But in the next couple of days, all that cold air is going to be sweeping its way southward. And we're going to be seeing the effect of that coming up up relatively soon into the next day or two. Meanwhile, we're going to concentrate on this system coming up as the low pressure area skirts its way back toward the east heading for Florida. It's a good possibility that some of this moisture will scrape very close to the area. But what we're looking for is going to again be the potential of maybe just some light scattered showers very light, in fact, starting very early tomorrow morning. Now, the National Weather Service in Peachtree City, Georgia, has issued a special weather statement for the north central Georgia area counties, some of which are in the News 12 viewing area, and there could be the potential of some freezing drizzle tomorrow morning. Temperatures, yes, are decently warm, but in those higher elevations, that's where we may see the potential of some of that rain sticking to the surface, especially bridges and overpasses where you don't have anything underneath the bridge and if it's exposed to the air that roadway surface cools down a lot quicker which means you could see a lot of slick spots could be some black ice out there tomorrow chip chapman again will have your forecast definitely want to tune in for that early tuesday morning to find out what the situation is now through the rest of the afternoon we'll be back in the lower to mid 40s that's it for temperatures tomorrow. Wednesday, we clear out and temperatures back in the lower 30s, below freezing again, but dry. And then into Wednesday, we'll get some sunshine in, which will help the temperatures out. We should be back into around the lower 50s across much of the area. So that should help the temperatures become rather mild and moderate. And we'll stick with those temperatures for Thursday. After that, that's where we start to see the potential of some problems coming on through. The front is going to be passing its way according to the timing of the models right now. The temperatures will be very mild on Thursday and then really head downwards as we go into Friday and into Christmas. It's a good possibility we'll be spending about three days below freezing uh, as we go into Friday. Now there's also that possibility of rain starting off on Thursday mixing with the cold air coming into Friday morning. Now, how much are we expecting on that? Again, if you've never done winter weather forecasting, I highly recommend it as a exercise in bursting your ego 
if you think you are that good at it, forecasting it this far out. As it gets closer, we'll be able to tell you a little bit more about what we may be looking for and could be some slick conditions out there in some areas if we get enough moisture, but that's one of those conditional situations. Once we get rid of the moisture and the drier air sets in behind that punch of that front, we'll start to see again some sunshine out there through the holiday and into next week. We'll be looking for temperatures finally going above freezing to about the lower 40s on Monday, which is going to be blissful compared to the temperatures here. Also into Friday night and early Christmas Eve, some of these temperatures, that's just a moderate idea of what we may be looking at. We could be looking at temperatures much colder than that into the next several days. So stay tuned to News 12. We'll keep you updated on that and especially for the potential of what could be again a good burst of winter precipitation mixed in with those much colder temperatures coming on through. A lot can change between here and there. So time to get make certain you're staying tuned to the forecast and we'll help you do that. Now what we're looking for again is going to be the potential of moisture heading up from the Gulf of Mexico and then that cold air slamming into that moisture and as it does it'll start to turn over to some form of snowfall into around the Mississippi Valley and then heading our direction. That will be again moving into the area coming up as we go into around Friday morning and that will be the push through. The main thing we're looking at is this is not going to be a huge burst of precipitation brief maybe some heavy cells out there of snow and or other types of precipitation but it doesn't look all that huge for now and then the cold air is very dry on the other side of that and that pushes it away the colder air is going to be making its way south again through about thursday afternoon and evening overspreading the area so when you wake up Friday morning it's going to feel a lot different out there with that cold air sitting in place all the way through Christmas Eve and Christmas Day also looking at some colder temperatures but then we start to moderate for just a little bit so what is the coldest temperature out there for Christmas we managed to drop down to minus six as we go through 1983 technically that counts as the coldest Christmas out there and the top 10 you've got to get down into and below 15 degrees which is where we're heading in the next few days so we could be winding up somewhere in this area for low temperatures and maybe setting a top five record so we'll see what happens out there as we go toward Friday morning snowfall the snowiest Christmas that we have ever had is 1981 that's the amount of snow that was collected on the day not the amount of snow that was actually on the ground it was again the end of the snowfall out there and notice that you've got to get again to about three quarters of an inch before you crack the top five so it's possible we could see some out there how much we get it's difficult to say and if we wind up with only a trace it's going to be difficult to actually get to the record books on the top 10 there so we'll watch and see what happens but keep it tuned we'll let you know japan frigid as we see the cold air from siberia moving its way through on weather where the troops are we've got weather back to the northern islands around hokkaido in the single digits with cloudy skies out there and also seeing again a little bit on the cool side but nowhere near as frozen back into the 30s through the lower 50s in Iraq temperatures again not bad with clear skies early on Tuesday morning more about weather where the troops are check out my social media pages you find out more available on those sites as well as YouTube Tumblr Reddit and also on WordPress as well we'll keep you updated again on the approach of this storm system bringing the cold air in Please remember that these things can change. All it takes is just a little bit less in the way of moisture, a lot more cold air, a lot moving a lot quicker to really change the forecast around. We're not trying to pull one over on you. We're trying to make certain you stay updated on this. And things change from day to day, if not hour to hour. So we want to make certain that everybody is safe and updated as to what's going on into the next several days. Questions, concerns? Critiques, if you absolutely must, join me at aonic at wdef.com for email. And also check out our website for more details at wdef.com slash weather. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik. Chip Chapman has your forecast bright and early on Tuesday morning starting at 5 a.m. Eastern. And more coming up throughout the rest of the week as we approach Christmas. So stay tuned for all the details about your Tennessee River Valley forecast with WDEF News 12.